Now, as we look through our iMovie Slideshow project, you may notice that there are still some things that need to be adjusted. So, for instance, as I click into my iMovie project and I kind of scan over my photos, I'll notice that some, like this one in particular of Agamemnon, I'm not even getting a good look at this particular image. So there are some things that I can do here. If I click on the image and again hit on the little menu there at the bottom, I can go down to Cropping Ken Burns and Rotation. Or I can also get to that through this button right here in the middle where it says Crop, Rotate, and Ken Burns. And so that's going to be the focus of our video is how to crop, rotate, and use the Ken Burns effect on particular images. So I can click and you see now I have some things to mess with. As a default in iMovie with images, the Ken Burns effect will be added. That is where, as you can see in the green box, the image will start where the green is and it will end where the red is. So if I want to see a preview of that, I just hit play the clip and you can see the image will move. And it's a, a professional looking way to, to take a look at your clips. However, you can see that I am only getting a very small portion of the image and it's not really going to be beneficial to my viewers, so I need to play with this a bit. So the Ken Burns effect, I can expand where I want this to go, move it up and around where I want the Ken Burns effect to start. And then I can also mess with where I would like for it to end. So if I have it start up there and then end closer down here, now I get a little bit more of a picture as you can at least see the whole name of what it is I'm looking at. You can also crop the image if you would just like to, to crop. If you hold, uh, you can get an idea. It explains to you what you would like to do as far as to crop. And you can, again, mess with this as well. You can make it smaller, bigger, or whatnot. Maybe you don't want any of those, and you just want it to fit to the screen. So I can just hit Fit, and then if I play the clip here, it's just going to be like this with no kind of movement or anything of that nature. So cropping Ken Burns effect will be that movement. Fit to screen means it will just stay put. You also notice that there are two arrows here. If you have any need to rotate any of your images, maybe an image came in and it was sideways, you can always rotate that so it's right side up. So these are some of the other things to play with. Now since I want this whole thing, maybe I can just leave it as done here and that way there won't be any necessary effect to it or whatnot. So then I can just hit done whenever I'm done. So the, this is the menu for how you can mess with Ken Burns, cropping and fitting the image. And you'll notice again, the Ken Burns effect is automatically uh, defaulted onto all of your images. So I would highly, highly recommend that you review all of your images before you ever finish with this to make sure that you're getting everything that you want out of your image. Otherwise, sometimes the Ken Burns effect, while it's very uh, professional looking, it might cut something off that you don't want, uh, that you, you would otherwise want your viewers to see. So uh, just be careful with that, and you might need to make some adjustments on that front.